Hello everyone, my name is Sami from ERP Hub and today we will be discussing the product, Zoho Projects. First, I will provide a brief walkthrough on what Zoho Projects is and explain the benefits of using it. Next, we'll navigate to the application and I will show you the functionalities associated with this product. Last, I will show you the elements of how a project is structured and how to create and customize a project on Zoho Projects. Let's get started. Improve the way you manage and organize your tasks with Zoho Projects. Zoho Projects is a cloud-based project management software that helps companies plan projects, track work efficiently, and collaborate with their team. Effective project management software helps you to organize your work, communicate with your team, and achieve your project goals. This hassle-free tool has a simple, easy-to-use interface and a mobile application that facilitates your projects from anywhere at any time. Zoho Projects has many benefits that makes it an excellent online collaboration tool for teams and businesses. The first benefit that the application possesses is project planning. Teams can plan the project down to the smallest detail and map every milestone to achieve until such time that the project is completed. Managers can create tasks and subtasks under every milestone and assign these to their members. This can ease the process of managing projects and allow your organization to achieve more in other areas. Next is collaboration. There are multiple channels to communicate from, including the forum, feeds, and chat. Communication and collaboration is an essential aspect of project collaboration, and Zoho Projects provides that to its users. A fast-paced work culture means moving from place to place, and collaboration is essential when you're working from different locations or different time zones. Another key benefit is increased productivity. Now consider a scenario where you have to alert a client that their documentation needs to be reworked. With the latest update, when the task transitions to another stage, your client will automatically get a trigger notification on their phones. This can save time, when it, which in turn increases the company's overall productivity. The last and most important benefit is knowledge sharing. Zoho Projects supports knowledge sharing among team members as it is a crucial part of teamwork. Users can create a page where they can save documents and other information which team members can assess at any time. Sharing knowledge helps you connect, perform, and become stronger as professionals. We are currently on Zoho Projects, and before you begin using Zoho Projects, you need to add users onto your system so you can assign projects to your team members. To manage your users, you would navigate to the setup icon on the top right corner, scroll down to manage users, and under portal users, if you click add user, it will take you to Zoho One where you can add new users. If you have clients that need to view and engage projects with you, you can add those users as well under this section right here, client users. Now I will discuss each of these tabs that are available on the left right here and briefly explain how you can navigate within each of these tabs. Currently we are on the home module, otherwise known as the dashboard page. This page is a snapshot of all the different activities that are happening within the account. You can customize the widgets you see on the screen by clicking on these three dots on the right side and choosing which ones you want to be able to see on the screen. On the Discuss and Feed tabs on the left side, you can view all of the chats that are happening between each of your team members. And this is just a tool you can use to collaborate and communicate with your team effectively. The Reports tab is where you can view different types of reports by toggling and clicking here. On the Calendar tab, you can view all of the projects or tasks that are due for each specific day. And lastly, the Projects tab is where you can view all the projects that have been created and view all of the specific details that are associated with that project. Before I explain how to create a project on Zoho Projects, it's important to understand the structure and hierarchy of how these projects are created. First, you have the project at the top, which is broken down into milestones. This is the timeline of your project and the sequences you need to complete your project. Below milestones, we have task lists, which are prioritized list of actions. Then within the task list, you have all the tasks that are associated with that list. And lastly, within each task, you have subtasks that are associated with that task. To create a new project, click on the Projects tab on the left side and click on New Project. Start off by creating a project title.
The owner of the project is responsible for managing this particular project. The template is where you can view pre-configured templates. The start date and the end date is when the project begins and when the project is due. You can add details and a description of the product on the project overview section. You can also customize the task layout and the group name. You can also customize tabs for this project by clicking and checking the ones that you want selected. And you can give access to this project to the private or public. The public would be used when you're engaging with your client and he needs access to your project. Once you're done filling out all this necessary information, click add to create the project. To start managing and customizing your project, select the projects tab on the left navigation panel and click on the project that you would like to have customized. On the project screen, you can access different portions of the project by navigating through the different tabs on the top of your screen. To create a milestone, you would click on task tab and click on add milestone. First thing, you need a name for your milestone. And for the milestone information, you can adjust the flag, the owner, you can add different tags to your milestones and adjust the start date and the end date for your milestone. Now you can add different task lists to your milestone by clicking on this. And I will add another one. So as you can see here now, we have two task lists that are associated with this one milestone. Now to add tasks to these lists, you can click on the list and then click on add task. First thing is having a task name. Now you can add a description to your task, attach files associated with this task. You can assign owners, adjust work hours, adjust the start date and the due date, change the priority of the task and a lot more. And once you're done configuring all that information, you can click on add. Here you can see an overview of all the information that you have filled out that pertains to the specific task. For more information and insights on Zoho, please subscribe to our channel. We'll see you next time.